Hello everybody, this is Xenarchad82543, welcome you back to Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection for the PSP. Uh, we're going to take a nap because I'm not quite at full health. I just double checked. And this part we're heading to the moon to go dive into the final dungeon. At least the final plot dungeon. Uh, I think I do want all my sirens. What don't I want? Just trying to think. I can do without the elven bow. I can probably do without a lot of these arrows. I can definitely do without that. And we'll probably do without the diamond helm. We'll keep these shields around. And we'll keep the Genji Helm around. But yeah, we're gonna... Touch the crystal and head up to the moon. Uh, we're not landing there though, because that's a silly place to land. We're gonna land up here, because it's much closer to where we need to go. Good, Yong has MP. I'm happy about that. We're gonna make our way through this lunar path. Goodbye. I don't care about fighting these things anymore. We're really overleveled for this next dungeon. I would not like to fight things. Through that little section of the lunar path there. And we're at the lunar subterrane. Or the crystal palace. No damage taken. So we can head right in. Still can't sneak through those. But here we go. With this party, which is half vanilla, half not. Diving into the lunar subterrane. This is definitely my favorite party. For this, I think. With what we have. And what we're going to find in here. Yeah, we'll do this right now. We're going to head this way first. There's some monsters here. They shouldn't be too hard, though. Ow. Thanks, Edge. Thank you, Cecil. That's not who I wanted you to hit me on, but I'll take it. Don't steal all of his MP. Yeah, Palm, do that. <laughs> Goodbye. And we get a Sage's Staff, which I believe is an upgrade for you. Yeah. Uh, this is a little spooky. Mostly for my front row fighters. Flamethrower is not that scary. I do not have my Charm Claws with me. So you're gonna just attack. You can toss out a Kiracha. Yeah, I don't have my Charm Claws with me, so you can also just, like, focus. Or whatever. 
Quack is very powerful. So I really don't mind eating these beam counters for the quacks. It's just such a powerful spell. Especially for Palum, since he has such good stats compared to other people. Oh my gosh, Yawn is so good. A little bio to save MP. Palum has so much MP that I'm not really worried about using it up. Same with Rosa, honestly. They just have so much MP. Just punch or whatever. Still doing 2500 damage. Like, I'll take these fights. They don't matter that much. Anyway, we made it to this little altar. Uh, what do I, do I want anything specific? I want this not on. So we're going to put Cat Claws just to make sure that I have something non-elemental on. Because I don't want elemental damage. You are good, you don't have elemental damage. That's good. Yeah, I mean you're all fine. He's going to be fine. It's time to do... A boss fight. It's an optional boss. Yeah, this boss punches. And it will cast slow on me a lot. Yeah, you still... Oh, you have Flare. You should cast Flare. Duh, we have Flare. Let's use it to do 8,000 damage. Flare is expensive, so I don't want to use it against regular enemies, but bosses? Sure. Yeah, we, we can use it against White Dragon. Four thousand damage. And we're getting hit bit slow, but that's kind of okay. Let's get another Flare. Because Flare is very powerful. Yep, yeah, 9999. Goodbye, White Dragon. And we get Murasame, which is an upgrade for Edge. Which is why I brought him along. He does not need a back row glitch anymore, so we're just going to give this to him. Oh my. Little lag. And we have a new entry. Oh, down here. We found the Armored Fiend. That's a new enemy. Right. They can drop a bunch of axes. They're giants. Not weak to anything, though. And then we're down to bosses. But we found the White Dragon. It's a dragon. 32,700 hit points. So, not too bad. It's pretty strong. That is a pretty high strength stat. It absorbs Fire, Ice, and Lightning, which is why I took the Thunderclaw off of Yang. We can probably leave it off, honestly. The Catclaw is better for general purposes, anyway. The Thunderclaw is nice to have for elemental specific targeting, but it's not super important. Uh, we have to kill a Bone Dragon, I think, still, so we're gonna kill the Bone Dra We're gonna fight this fight to kill the Bone Dragon, because I don't want to kill have to deal with Bone Dragon later. Thank you, Edge. Quake. Quake is cheap enough that I'll do it in a fight like this. Okay, never mind, Bone Dragon is just dead. Perks of Holy Element. Right. Actually, I just want to exit. Or teleport, that's what it's called. We want to get out of here. We will be coming back to the dungeon, but it just takes too long to walk out. We're gonna head right back in. Uh, the MP heal is on this side, I think. So I can just use you to heal up.
get the NP all restored. So now everyone has all their HP and MP back. You know, free take the free heal when we get it. Just makes sense. And now we go back diving back in. Do we have to go through all the colors? Just get me back into the sub lunar subterranean. They actually marked that secret passage. Wow. There's like little markings in the walls that I can see. It's a miracle. Oh my gosh, Yon, you're fast, and I love it. Little bio. We're fine. Yeah, he beams me, but I don't really care about beam. Yong is so fast, and I love it. It's just so good. Oh, well, that's a cool background. Yeah, just fight. You're not dead? Okay. Now you're dead. I just want this chest. We get a trap chest. I honestly think Yang might be the best damage dealer right now. He's just so good. Flamethrower is not scary. Yeah, we're gonna make Yang angry because he's fast and he hits a lot. Go angry Yang. I mean, Edge is not doing too shabbily either, but Yon's just so good. Like, Cecil and Edge are holding their weight. We get Black Garb. That's not for you. You can't equip that. Who is that for, then? Is it, oh, it's this one. Okay, I know what this is then. It's really good defensive gear for you, I suppose. And it doesn't lower your attack by that much. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Basically, ultimate armor for edge. It's good. I don't need to fight this fight, but I want to. We're not going to teleport just to get back this walk. We're going to not fight some fights now, because I've already seen Armored Fiends. Like, we've already seen them. I don't need to fight them anymore. Look, if we've already seen the enemy, we're just not going to mess with it. That's for Rydia. I don't care about Rydia. That's actually a good shield. All the treasures are down here.
I mean, Cecil's the only one who can wear this stuff. I'll give you some... I'm gonna turn Cecil into a tank. Because I think the, the dragon stuff... The dragon stuff is worthwhile. Basically, now Cecil has resistance to every element. Again, G-Stuff doesn't do that, so it's not as worthwhile. There's a treasure over here. Artemis arrows, that's good. Better arrows. Oh, hello. I don't really want that fight. Little elixir there. Can you? I guess if you're gonna ambush me, I'm gonna take you. Like, you hit me, so I'm hitting you back. Thanks, Yon. You hit. You guys hit me? That means you don't get to live. You, you get to go down. Not you. Uh, you didn't really need two of those. That's plenty of healing. Keep walking through the winter subterrane. It's a new enemy. Thanks. Thanks for putting it to sleep. It has that as a counter. Although I think Yang is immune, so it doesn't matter for Yang. Yeah, we'll hit you with bio. Sure. Goodbye, gold dragon. Gold dragons are worth a lot of experience. And, you know... Another entry in the bestiary. Oh, gold dragon and bone dragon. They are dragons. Zeus, Wrath, Heavenly Wrath, Blue Fang, Silver Apple. There's bone dragons as well. They've got a bit more health. They're dragons and undead, so... Boop to fire and weak to holy. We're slowly filling in the enemies here. New enemy! Thanks, Yon. Casual 9, quad 9 damage. Young's just so good for that. Uh, I would rather not. We've seen you. You take a little too long. Oh my gosh, all the encounters. You don't take long at all to kill, so we're gonna kill you. Dino Zombie. Goes down to two hits. And it's not like I can get more damage out of Young. Uh, also Dragon Undead, 12,000 HP. It's the same, it's weaker, but with more defense. They both have really good magic defense, though, so don't use magic on them. I think Fire 3 might cut through, but... Oh, and this thing is actually weak to Holy, so... Yeah. I don't know. A White Fang. Oh, that does... what? Oh, yeah, Ice. Not super exciting. I will fight you, I suppose. That's gonna actually work, isn't it? It worked, of course. Feel free to constrict my party, I don't really care. Constrict doesn't last after the battle, so it doesn't matter. X potion, which is kind of nice. And we get another trap chest. It's a behemoth. We're gonna have Yong do all this while you set up Mirage and we start blinking. We're gonna let Yong do all the things, all the hits. Uh, we'll protect Palom. We're gonna do Yong focus for everything. Because Yong does almost 5,000 damage per hit.
And really, this isn't that scary anymore. We've gotten enough levels that, you know, this fight is not so bad. I'm just playing it safe. Young's agility is ridiculous. We'll set up a blink on you. I mean, it's probably dead from the next punch or whatever. I'm just gonna let Young do it. Because, yeah, it's dead. It's a Stardust Rod. That would be good for Palom if I didn't ha already have Palom's ultimate weapon from the Cave of Trials. But it's also it would also be nice for Rydia. We'll hold on to it. It's a good rod. It's actually a very good rod. Let's head down to the next level of the Lunar Subterrain. Hello, Ariman. I don't like you. You've got a lot of health. Too much health, from what I remember. I need to Quake, so we can't do Quake on him. But we'll throw some Bios. I'm not willing to do Flare. We'll take advantage of this to Kiraga up a little bit. You actually, I'm going to give you back the Moonring Blade to do the weakness. Hit the weakness. Please. I think I have to put that in the right hand. I shouldn't, but I might. Okay, there's Ariman down. He has a lot. He has quite a bit of health. I don't like Ariman. There's a chest out there. I don't care, it's a monster in a box, we need it. Oh good, dragons. Yeah, he missed me a lot with Ice Storm. Eat Quack. We're gonna get Yon going. Yon's gonna get angry. They punch pretty hard, by the way. These red and blue dragons. Okay, blue dragon is gone, which is a little spooky. Though Yon's doing good damage to the red dragon. Yeah, thermal rays. That's a thing red dragons can do. It hurts. That's a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> and 15,000 experience each. And we get a crystal shield, which is better than a dragoon shield. Or a dragon shield. I'm gonna need to heal up again. Yang's got so much HP. I'm not gonna heal Yang up to full. Uh, we do not need to fight the Ariman. Can I not run away? I don't think I can run away from you. Which is obnoxious. Ariman is not letting me get away. I mean, I would really like for Palom not to go down to the Doom. That would be really nice if, you know... Andy Young. Come on. Of course you take Young down. Of course you take my Palom down. That's so rude! All because they can't run from you for no reason. Why is that enemy not runnable? I don't like that enemy. Could you not back attack me? Take that. That's a huge upgrade. <laughs> huge upgrade for Palom. 
like ridiculous upgrade. You're resistant to holy, I think. Or something. I think blue dragon is resistant to holy. Which is making Yon bad. No, let's swap the cat claw for flame. Because surely Blue Dragon is weak to fire. No. It's not. Very decidedly not weak to fire. We'll take a look at it in the Beast area after this fight. Definitely resistant to Holy though. Like, there's no way that's not resistant to Holy. Ah yes, we filled in some stuff after the Armored Fiend. Blue Dragon. It can drop the White Fang, Shuriken, Dragon Whisker, and the Wyvern Lance. Dragon Whisker is for Rydia, Wyvern Lance is for Kane. I don't care about either of them. Oh, it absorbs everything. Fire, Ice, Lightning, Dark, and Holy. That's fun. You are a dragon. Uh, Red Fang, Dragon Gloves, Wyvern Lance, Crystal Ring. It's weak to ice. This thing is weak to ice and absorbs fire because it's a normal dragon. And Arimon, 25,000 HP. Jeez, I dropped Elixir Gold Hourglass Protect Ring. Weak to throw. So if there's any claw I want, it's going to be the Ice Claw for Red Dragons. No, I've already learned that I can't run from you, because you're a jerk. I can't swap there, I have to swap that, and then that, and then that. Cool. Good game design. Yeah, it definitely doesn't apply the weakness if it's in the second... If it's in the left hand, offhand. That's interesting. That is really interesting that it's not applying the weakness if it's in the offhand. So you want the primary weapon in the offhand then, because... That's where... The damage is coming from. And then the weakness should be in the main hand. That's so weird. It feels like that's a bug. We get another monster in the box. It's another behemoth. They're slow, but not hard. Yeah, I'm not worried, that worried about Cecil, really. I mean, sure, I'll give him a blink. I did not need that, though. We get Crystal Mail. I am not going to equip that, because that makes Cecil unberserkable. And I don't really want that. I'd like to get a little bit further. We can run from this guy. Though he's also really easy to just, just kill. It's not quite enough. Yeah, whatever. Curse me. I don't care. You're dead. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a chest over here as well. More monsters. Okay. I do have Ice Claws equipped. Yeah, I'm like, Yang, you should be doing really good damage. We should be coming up on a save point somewhat soon. I should probably end the video off after this fight. Thanks, Yon. There's Crystal Gloves, which we will throw on Cecil. We got one more chest to grab. No, I don't feel like dealing with them. We've already seen those enemies. White robe. Huge upgrade for Rosa. Or Porum if you have Porum. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a chest over here. Oh, this is easy. And there's our last piece of crystal mail armor. I can't run from you, and I don't like that. I really don't like that. Let's take this opportunity to patch up a bit. Yeah, you can keep cast... I don't care if, if you recast Doom on the same person, it just resets the timer. I don't care. Like, by all means, do that. Thanks, Palom. This is a dead end. I don't want to mess with you. Are you going to let me out? Yes. Yeah, that's a dead end. This room we will be back to later. We will be back in that room later. For sure. Um, I'm going to just uh, leave it off here at this junction. Next time we'll probably make our way... Probably down the left path. Because that doesn't lead towards the end of the dungeon. I'll see you then.